hope springs eternal. Sir Marinelle fears what might come of Lord Amanillan's em em newfound ambition. I keep going back and forth on how to say that name. Lord Emmalena is going to demand a more dangerous duty than I expect. Lady Leonte will want you to accompany. Will want you to accompany him. I, you might wa might as well speak with her sooner rather than later. There is no use avoiding the inevitable. Oh, what you got doing, dude? I'll have you know I am trained with some of the finest instructors in Ishgard. You and me, would, we could march right into Vano's stronghold and give them all what for. Oh dear, oh dear. Just when everything was going so well. Master Summers, Lord Emma Lillen has just informed me that mere sentry duty is beneath him. I understand we have you to thank for this epiphany. Well, there's nothing for it but to give him something more demanding then. Can I count you to keep him safe? Excellent! We are in constant need of fresh water in Camp Cloudtop, so as there are no underground resources we can tap with we can tap with wells. However, there is a unique variety of crystal we have recently discovered which may enable us to obtain water through our through other means. These spring crystals can be found in Vujian Siran. To the east of here, I would have you and Emanillan bring back, bring one back to us. You may have to contend with the feral beasts which populate the lakes, not to mention the Vanu scouts ranging from their nearby settlement. Of course, that all pales in comparison to, to keeping the young lord entertained, but you have doubtless grown accustomed to that by now. Good luck, and be safe. Okay, you're still saying the same thing. Hmm, Lady Lignanti told you to tell me about my mission once again? If I didn't know any better, I'd swear she's avoiding me! Ha, <laughs> anyway, what is it? Finally! It's about time she entrusted me with the mission of real import. Right then, let's go, let's go! I heard the Mistral's tales of these flakes, but I never honestly believed that they were real. So this is the Vur Sian Siran of legend, and nary a Vanu in sight. How disappointing. I could do with some sport. I know. Why don't you and, and I make it a competition? Whoever finds a superior specimen wins. Anorai shall judge our entries in size, purity, and say aesthetic sensibilities. Let us begin at once. What do you guys say now? I wish you could have at least stayed within sight. Alright, 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 alright. I don't know where to go. Honest. Okay, there we go. This water crystal does not appear to exhibit the properties described by Lady Leonte. Perhaps you should inspect another. <sighs> oh, gosh. This water crystal does not appear to exhibit the properties described by Lady Leonte. Perhaps you should inspect another. Oh my god. How about this one? This one's interacting for a little longer. This 
crystal seems to be secreting steady stream water. Perhaps it is the spring crystal Lady Leontes Sea. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry to anyone watching this that might hate burping, because I know I've not let up on that at all. It's gonna stick around too, because I, I'm pretty gassy. I don't know what's going on. Ah, oh, Master Summers, have you brought your entry in the contest for the contest? My understanding of such things is limited, but can this truly be just used to draw moisture from the air like water from a pump? Fascinating. Series of unfortunate events. Honoroy is more than a little concerned for Lord em Emmeline's well-being. Lord Emmeline has been gone for an awfully long time. Did you perchance see him while you were searching for your crystal? Even he must realize the dangers of wandering too far in such a place. Mayhap I am worrying about nothing, but I must ask that you assist me in looking for him, Master Summers. We shall find him more quickly if we split up and pray search the southern eastern area for of Vorsion Seron as swiftly as you are able, and rendezvous with me in the north. Farewell and good luck. I am heading where I need to be. Surveying, surveying, we are surveying. Oh my gosh, we're surveying. Oh my god, we're surveying so hard. Ah! You survey the surrounding area for a time, but see no sign of Emanillin. Rendezvous with our young boy Honoroy. 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 Honor. On the honor roll, baby. On the honor system. Oh, baba. Oh, oh boy. Master Summers, Lord Emmeline, Emmeline, Lord Emmeline has been taken by the Vanu. They had my lord surrounded, a whole gang of them. Please, you must come quickly. A wimba wop, a wimba wop, a wimba wop, a wimba wop. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Oh, here we go. Another instant battle. This shall be fun with Anoroi. Yes, of course, we're going with very easy because we're trying to do this fast, baby. Oh man, that's a lot of stars. The Vanu must have taken him to that village, may have to present to their chieftain. I, I will make haste to the, the Rose House and tell Lady Leonte what has happened. Yet, yet by the time I return with aid, I, it may be already be too late. For, forgive me for asking, Master Summers, but should you spy an opportunity to sneak past the sentries and rescue Lord Emmeline? In my absence, I beg you take it. I know he can be a, a trifle presumptuous and insensitive and, well, insufferable, but he doesn't deserve this. Bump. Ba-dum-bump. 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 Oh. 
Let's pull you all, man. Why not? We're gonna pull them all. Give us some lance tosses. Can't handle this. Can't handle this. You can't handle this, baby. You can't handle these lances. I'm a freaking Azur Dragoon, motherfucker. <laughs> You want a lance? You want a lance? By the fury, you're not gonna eat me, are you? That's not well. You do the prisoners, is it? Farmic, Farmic, I'm over here. Netherlings, come to free prisoners. Spread word like thunder. Cast them into cloud sea. Ramwood Wope. Wope. What's Wope? Wope. I'm untying you. That was thoroughly unpleasant. Protect only and escape the Van Oof stronghold. Can't do anything to you. Let's go, Emma Nolan. Emma, 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 Emma Lane. Why are you just standing there? Dude, come on. Dude, come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You're so slow. Nurtail Where are they? I see the enemies spawning. But I don't see them? Um Is it those enemies? Oh there they are. Easy peasy. Oh, lemon squeezy. Oh, let's touch your phone. Before time night. Where the heck are they going? Yeah, thanks, Harsha phone. We're over here, though. Harsha phone, was that you? Thank heavens, get us out of here. Keep Emmeline safe, Firemac. We will hold them off. I don't think you're literally fighting anybody right now. But thanks, Archivon. They really want him dead. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! This way, quickly! Both of these instant duties have been quite different, kind of. Just. This was like a straight up escort mission, and the other one was like locate something mission. Both of which, which have never been part of the main story. Reinforcements! Ooh, this is voiced. Anger of Honu, chief of mighty Vondo, roils like blackest storm clouds. Offer netherlings to the white. Cloud sea swells and he comes. You mean to tell me he's 
pronounce your U's with like an O. I, I'm still gonna call you Vundu, man. Screw that crap. Vundu? <laughs> Look at Bismarck in all his glory. Bismarck, Lord of the Mists! A flying whale? By the fury, it's a primal! We must away! all happened just trying to get some water Damn. who could that be Bloody typical all right we're going in hey, it's our boy Sid aye, 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 chief. Chief. oh and bigs and wedge oh yeah chief the boys are home in town money the boys are here That second tot. 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 I was say, he's like, Archer want. You're taking your sweet time to get on. What's your phone? Look, what's your phone? Almost dead just now. And then like a little scare. Uh, let's talk. Let's talk to Halshafon. Halshafon. We're all, we are all of us still alive, my friend. Let us take solace in that most, in that most simple of blessings. Frighten me <laughs> for a fleeting moment, most. <laughs> Uh, Honoroy is not here, so I'm assuming he must be back. What's up, Sid? The gods only know what might have what might have happened had we not been around to save you. No need for thanks, though. It is not as if you haven't done the same for us on a few previous occasions. All right, more than a few, more than a few. "'Twas but blind chance that brought us together this time. In case you were wondering, the Holy See has petitioned the Ironworks for assistance with this creation of theirs, the Protector. Apparently, they just can't seem to get her flying. Anyway, I came to count Camp Cloudtop to cast an eye over the ship, only to learn that you had arrived some few days before with an Ishgardian lordling in tow. Small world, I thought. Just as... Just as said Lord Ling Man servant skittered into view, blabbling about his mastery of having been captured, and you risking all to rescue him. And the rest, as I say, is history. Right, well, I hate to cut it short. Yeah, I hate to cut short our, re our reunion, but I am here on business after all, and the boys are already at hard at work. Already hard at work. Don't worry, old friend, we'll speak again soon, I promise. That's our boss, Sid! Yo, yo! A reward long in coming. Lord Emeline, Emanillin has appeared rather pleased with himself. Very well, I admit it. I, it was an incredibly harrowing experience. I could very well have died. You know? Me! Dead! On another hand, by risking life and limb in the line of duty, I did succeed in uncovering the existence of a new primal. On that old way, it's no small feat. 
I have made an historic discovery, a fact that even Lady Liliante will have no choice but to acknowledge. Yes, I am rather looking forward to basking in the sunshine of our praise. Speaking of which, isn't it time we made our triumphant return? Oh my god, we're not done. We have to go talk to Liliante still. Alright. This was over some just getting some water. <laughs> yeah, looks honorary. What you got to say, honorary? Thank you, Master Summers. Thank you. If you, if you had not rushed to his aid, I dare not think what would have happened. Praise Haloni! I fear the worst. What happened out there? A primal? Are you sure? Yet, yeah, now that I think on it, this Bismarck is reminiscent of the white whale of Vanu legend, a massive creature said to swim in the sea of clouds. From what I have learned on comparable summonings, the presence of Vanu's god would certainly explain the sudden change in their behavior toward the people of Cla of Camp Cloudtop. Ah, you mean to say they have fallen under the primal's influence? I recall reading such things in the doc documents provided by Master Alphano. Aren't we forgetting something important, Lady Leniante? A little recognition for the hero of the hour. A few choice expressions of gratitude, respect, admiration, and so on. Oh, why, uh, yes. You are you are right, of course. Master Summers deserves all that and more for having risked his life to rescue such an esteemed pa personage. Well, if there is not else to discuss, I would depart for Ishgard forthwith. And the... The Holy See and the Temple Knights must be informed of this new threat without delay. But of course, Master Summers, you have done more than enough here. Pray return to Ishgard with Lord Harshofon and give my warmest regards to the Count. So that's it then. No more forays into enemy territory? Very well, I can see my searches are no longer needed. Take care, Lady Leliante. May our, 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 may our next meeting take place under more felicitous circumstances. I don't know what that word means. All's well that ends well, eh? To the airship landing, then. We can speak on the journey home. In Ishgard. You just gotta go to Ishgard. Confess, I have always been rather fond of airship travel. The chill of the wind upon your face, the warmth of the blood pumping in your veins from the excitement. I find the whole experience indescribably invigorating. Or mayhap it is simply the joy of having cheated death yet again. <laughs> in any event, I must make for the congregation and inform Sir Americk of all that has occurred. Emanellen should have returned to the manor by now. Why not go and see if he has recovered from his ordeal? On that we shall. You shall speak to Emelin. 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 Emelin.
in for Tom Mana. Photon? A photon? A photon? Man. Oh no! Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right, I can't just walk in. Oh. Yeah, I will stop reading that guy's quotes because he's gonna say the same thing every single time. Oh, it's you, Firemag! <laughs> Gods, did he have to strike me so hard? Father, he, he did not approve of how I handled matters in Camp Cloud Top. How I endangered the lives of others through my own <laughs> recklessness and incompetence. It's not easy playing a hero, is it? Oh, woe is me. I'm okay now. Word long incoming. I don't know why I reread the quest name. But I did. House for Tom Steward. Divine intervention. The for Tom Steward looks as though he has something to say. Ah, Master Summers, my lord, the Count much desires to speak with you regarding your time with Lord Artoriel and Lord Emanillan. If you would remain here for a moment. The hero returns. I cannot thank you enough for saving young Emanolaine's life. Emanolaine. told me everything. Emana Lane. Let's remember that. Emana Lane. I've also received letters from both House Zamile and Durandere praising your conduct and that of House Fortom. You have won as much honor, my friend. Holy crap, this, this cutscene's teaching me a lot. Zamael. Zamael. And Durandere. Not, no, it's not Durandere, it's Durandere. I'm gonna forget that. I'm gonna forget that. The mail I might be able to remember. What about your other son's name? I need to know how to say that. My lord. What is it? Speak. Pray forgive the intrusion, my lord, but I, I bring grave tidings. Master Alfano and Mistress Tataru have been detained on suspicion of fermenting heresy. What? Explain. They, uh, they were observed entering a tavern in the lower levels on some half dozen occasions. There, it is claimed, they made a number of inquiries. Inquiries which brought them into contact with certain um, elements. It was this which prompted a Knight of the Heavens War to demand that they be questioned. Sir Grino, my lord. Sir Grino is a brute. Exceedingly accomplished brute, but a brute nonetheless. Alas, he is also a son of House Zamayo. How quickly we forget the petty nature of men. I'd wager your friends are no more than pawns in another of my countrymen's games. Such is the way of things between the high houses. Now you have won the hearts and minds of many of my countrymen. There are those who will never be swayed. Men who will dismiss your efforts and resent your successes, even as we celebrate them. Tis like that one such member of House Zamael is manipulating Sir Grenot. For he is not a man to dabble in politics of his own volition. He may generally believe your friends to be guilty, though I am certain his. Masters know better. Yet the truth will avail us not if we cannot prove their innocence. You would do well to speak with Sir Amaric at the congregation of our knights most heavenly. He will know more of these charges.
Now, I believe that's like right next to the freaking lost uh, Forgotten Knight. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm not feeling well. Oh, that sneeze kicked my butt. Oh. <clears throat> oh, okay. It has been too long, Farmek. What did this visit came under happier circumstances? You are, you are come to plead for Master Alphano and Mistress Tatru, I take it? Word of their detainment reached us while I was delivering a report on the Vanu Primal. Truly, I know not which is more ludicrous. These charges or that flying feathered whale? That Sir Grano's ac accusations are baseless, I have no doubt. Refuting them will be difficult, however, as he is a knight of the Heaven's Ward. Title drop! I speak of the personal guard of the Archbishop, the twelve finest knights in all of Ishgard, sworn to serve his eminence alone. Suffice it to say, their testimony is unimpeachable, and I have not the authority to challenge their actions. Also, Knights of the Round Table, huh? Reference, reference, get reference, Final Fantasy VII, Knights of the Round. <laughs> After all the science have done, routing the heretics and defeating Shiva, help us to defend the steps of the faith and drive them back to the reunion horde. After proving themselves true allies on countless occasions, is there not we can do? I fear there is, oh, there is but one path left to us. We must demand a trial by combat. But of course! In the trial by combat sanctioned by the Inquisition, the victor's claim is judged true regardless of the petitioner's standing. Under Ishgardian law, a trial by combat pits the accuser against the accused. In this instance, Master Alphano and Mistress Tataru would be expected to face Sir Grano and a second of his choosing, another Knight of the Heaven's Ward, most, most like. Two of them? By the fury, that can hardly be considered fair. Master Alphano's magical talents will not have gone unnoticed, meaning that he will have no choice but to participate. Mistress Tataru, on the other hand, is quite obviously bereft of martial skill, and should be afforded the right to name a champion to fight in her stead. Lest you doubt I am ready and willing to serve in this capacity, as I am sure is Lord Harsho Home. But all here present know that you are the most accomplished warrior among us, and mayhap in the realm at large. Then it is settled! I will visit Master Alphono at once and inform him of our intentions. Farmak, meet me at the tribunal when you have made ready. Until then, my friend! Oh yeah, I'm ready for this trial combat combat. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's kick some boy. I will be growing in as my dragoon as well. Speak a harsh of home at the pillars. Um, I believe they are. No, they're actually by the tribunal. Like you said, this person is out cold. I shall pet them for, for good luck. Okay, the tribunal. Yeah, there we go. See, we're already going straight into it. Lord Hoshofo! Listen carefully, Farimak. When the trial begins, the petitioner will be asked to restate his charges, and the accused invited to respond. <clears throat> then the accused is invited to respond. Whatever. Then, and in accordance with the law, they will be asked to restate the request for a trial by combat. Once the high educa adjudicator acknowledges Mr. Tataru's right to name a champion, that is when you must make your entrance. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on Sorgerno's face when he sees his true opponent. It will be priceless. 
more seriously should you begin to lose heart. Look to me in the stands and I shall cheer you cheer so loud you will wonder how you could ever have contrived to doubt yourself. Now are you ready? Of course. Bye bye. We're going in and we're going home. Oh, there's combat. Trial by combat. Look at them, look at them go. We are gathered here today under the watchful gaze of the Fury to ascertain the guilt of two souls in a trial by combat. Petitioners, step forward. Sir Grino, for the benefit of all here present, I would ask you to repeat the charges which you have leveled against this man and this woman. I, Sir Grino de Zemile, brother of the Heaven's Ward, did bear witness to these two foreigners consorting with heretics. The voice is so intense, man. Let the accused step forward. Alfino Leveya. Tataru Taru, you have heard the charges leveled against you. Will you take up arms to refute Sir Grino's claim and thereby prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men? I, Alfino Levayer, am innocent of this charge and claim my right to trial by combat. I, Tataru Taru, am innocent of this charge. But I am no warrior and cannot fight. So, I claim the right to name a champion. To the old and the infirm, the young and the weak, this right we allow. Very well. Who will stand for this woman? Quickly, she was like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna fucking win this shit." <laughs> My boy, Firemax here. Mm. Just as I was beginning to doubt <laughs> the efficacy of the Ishgardian justice system. Come, my friend, let us put an end to this mama's farce. She. <laughs> Let's kick some knights of the twelves butt, man. I'm waiting. I want to kick their butts. And she's quite oh, locked up right now. Render unto us your judgment. Raise up the righteous and cast down the wicked. Look at that weapon. Jeez. Time to kick some butt. <laughs> Don't be waste some on you want it. Yeah. Right. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. There comes a point where I just cannot read all of those texts that come in the middle of battle. So I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to read that stuff. No, the bull went straight for freaking. Let's see. Even swine, cold fire. Paula Crane, cold fire. What a name. They, they, I mean, we won! Whoa, whoa, don't skip that. Whoa. No, stop that. Just trying to hide this blog. The Fury has spoken! Alpha no Livio, 
Tataru Taru, you are hereby acquitted of all charges. Blessed are we who receive of her wisdom and see justice wrought by her divine hand. Petitioners accused go forth in peace. Delivered from an untimely de demise yet again, my thanks. As always. Lord Hoshofon! By the fury, what a splendid victory! To see how you strove in the face of ad adversity, two brave young souls found bound together by the Poissant, poissant bonds of camaraderie, camaraderie, camaraderie. Why, it stirred me to the very depths of my soul. Having been treated to such rousing spectacle, it seems only right that I present you with a humble token of my admiration. Pray receive of me this chuckable whistle. With it, you may summon a black chugbo, fully trained and ready to fly. Also, that's how they change this. There was actually a separate quest you had to do for that. Maybe? Actually, I don't know. Eh, whatever. Magnificent, is she not? Strong yet sleek, elegant yet eager. What say you, Firemac? Will you take her for your steed? But of course, she's amongst my many, many mounts. Lord Hoshofon, chocobos are prohibited in the supreme sacred tribunal of Halonic Inquisitory, Inquisitory Doctrine. Your steed must remain outside. I just love that chocobo just kicked him right now. Like, no, let me stay. Aether Current's now accessible. Wow. Wow, you mean to tell me you weren't accessible before? You have obtained Black Chugwell when writing this mount, blah blah blah. I don't have to read this. And for those not in the know, Aether Currents are how you unlock flying in new areas. Um, do I want to start the next quest? Um... No, we're gonna end it here, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, it was going to be a shorter stream, but I do need to end it because I do need to prepare myself for something in, in real life. I said doctor's point. It, it is a doctor's point, but I need to prepare myself. So I do need to end this stream. We didn't get very far, as I kind of predicted, but we'll make up for it in one of these other days. Somewhere along maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll try to make up for it big time. Anywho, this is Farmax saying, Toodles, see you next one.